Welcome, everybody. This is a special LP. I will be doing Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. This is Dracula's Mansion, looking epic as ever. Or is that the Belmont Mansion? I don't know. Anyways, Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse, epic lightning. I think I'm going to sit here and uh, read the, the narrative to you. During 15th century Europe, there lived a person named... Dracula. He practiced sorcery in order to create a bad world filled with evil. Kind of a redundant statement there. I mean, whatever. He began taking over the content of Europe, changing countries from good to bad. Ra! The good people of Europe tried to fight off Dracula, but no one was able to survive. Finally, the Belmont family was summoned to battle Dracula's vile forces. Whoosh! The Belmont family has a long history of fighting evil. Well, fighting Dracula, but anyways. The townspeople became afraid of the Belmont's superhuman power and asked them to leave the cunt. Seriously, dumbasses, what are they doing? Fortunately, the, the people found a mighty Belmont called Trevor. <laughs> the curse of Dracula has begun. The fate of Europe lies with Trevor. <laughs> I, I, I gotta stop doing that. That's, that's stupid. Alright. So, that's the end of the intro. Let's get started. So, this is going to be a special LP. Uh, so, oh, what the hell do I call myself? I, fuck. I'm just gonna. I don't care. Um. What's going to happen throughout the game is uh, there will be a lot of decisions to have to make. Trevor Belmont will come to forks in the road at the ends of certain levels, and uh, we'll have to make a decision that will decide the outcome of the game. He'll also make decisions about whether whether or not to uh, join forces with certain people that appear at the end of some levels, like uh, Grant and Alucard and Sypha. Um, you will be making those choices yourself. I'll be putting annotations at the end of every video. So, be sure to have annotations on while you're watching this. So that you can actually, uh, feel like you're interacting in some way with the game at the end of each video. I'm just gonna kinda keep it on there for a few seconds, and you will decide which path to take. And I will make a video pretty much outlining every single possible detail of the game, and... Well, not every detail, but every... <laughs> every possible path that you could take in the game, so yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> I don't even know whether to call this a let's play or a shoot or a choose your own adventure or I don't know. So let's talk about the game, shall we? Yeah. First of all, this music fucking rocks right off the bat. It's just like bum, 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 bum. I love it. Now these bats, they come out of nowhere. Uh, but uh, if you if you have a good eye, you could see them. Can you see that bat right there? I don't know if you can or not, he's kind of camouflaged in the, in the wall, but there he goes. You gotta really quickly react to them if you uh, don't see them right off the bat. And my guess is you probably won't a few times. Um, unfortunately, I don't know this game nearly as well as I know the, the original Castlevania and Castlevania 2. Because I didn't get to play this until uh, my mid-twenties. Uh... And even then, I didn't play it very much. Looks like, there you go, already took a hit. First level. Now, this level's pretty easy. Um, if you're playing this, you should have a pretty easy time with this level, but you will notice later on that it just starts getting bad shit insane. It, oh, this game becomes hard mode all in itself. Hard mode defined is this game. I wonder if I can get that. No, I don't think I can get that. No. Never found a way to get that candle. Probably with an axe or something that might drop at random. I don't know. Oh, man. Uh, there's something here, isn't there? Pretty sure there is. Nope. No, 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 no. There is, uh, there's gotta be a pork chop somewhere, man. Come on. Oh, God. Medusa heads. They will start you off with Medusa heads in the first level. Let that set the record. Let that set, the, well, not the record, but the, t the tone. Let it set the tone. Good Lord, go away. Oh, my God. Ah, pfft. <laughs> That is not fair. What are you doing? Jeez. Trevor Belmont. Trevor Belmont. I like his whipping motion a little better for some reason. I don't know. It's like... It's exactly the... It seems like it's exactly the same, but there seems like there's something different about it. 
uh, from Castlevania 1 and 2. I'm not sure. I mean, Trevor Belmont does have a slightly different, you know, color palette. Oh, it's, well, it's the same color palette, but it's like, it's a, I don't know. Like, his hair looks different, and uh, his whipping animation, there's something different about it. I don't know. It, it, look, it, feels, it almost feels like there are more frames of animation, but he's still, you know, just as quick at, at whipping it out. It's, it's almost as if it's like a testament to the better graphics of the time that this was made, as opposed to the time the other ones were made. Alright, well, fuck, these hunchbacks. Ugh. Ugh. The thing is, Trevor Belmont is probably the best at taking out these hunchbacks throughout all the game. You know, I really shouldn't be... <laughs> I really shouldn't be providing spoilers. This is kind of your game. In a sense. So... I shouldn't be telling you what's up. Although, if you're watching a Let's Play of this game, odds are you have you know, played this game enough to know at least all that I've told you. That there will be forks in the road, and that there will be uh, people you, you can choose to join your party. You must have at least made it to Grant by now. What did I just replace? Did I just replace my holy water? I didn't want to do that. Damn. Oh well. Not that it matters. This boss is retardedly easy. Well, sometimes he goes the other way, but I'm just gonna... Really? I mean, you could just sit here and just whip. It doesn't even matter if he hits you. I had to be quiet so you could hear that boss sound. <laughs> that boss death sound. You go... You know. Um, they make different pitches throughout the game, too. Like, most of them make that same pitch, but... Uh, towards the end, you start hearing some that, that make really loud, really high pitch noise. Like... Oh, and look where we are. We're at our first fork in the road. <laughs> so I guess that's the end of this video. Um, I'm not going to decide which one, but uh, which way shall I go? The top route leads to the clock tower. The bottom route leads to the forest. So, which way shall we go? It's up to you. Click on an annotation on the top or the bottom, and I will see you in the next video.